Hey, what's up guys? I know it's been a while since I've made a YouTube video, but I just moved into this this area as you can see. Um it is what it is. Uh but um it's like a college apartment if that's the best way to to describe it. Uh and plus, yeah. Anyways, let's get into it. Sorry I haven't been uploading, but we're about to I already saw this movie in theater, so what I'm going to say here is just me giving a second review, but um, I'm just doing it for the YouTube community. So here we go. Avengers Endgame Heroes Return. Oh, OK, let's go. Let's go. Okay. When I first saw this scene, when I first saw this, like, <laughs> it was so sad because, like, you know, if you saw the movie, spoiler alert, click off if you have not seen Avengers Endgame, but Captain America uh, gets Normir in his hair, in his hands, and he starts beating the crap out of Thanos, and it's just like, it's such an epic scene. He harnesses the power of Thor, like, it is so cool. And I, I predicted this because I read the comics, and that's what he did in the comics. He actually did fight Thanos with Normir in the comics. And I like that they set that up in uh, Avengers Age of Ultron. And they actually took something from the comic books and made it canon in the MCU. It was just so exciting. I didn't think it was going to happen. I did predict it. I had a theory about it. I told my girlfriend, and then she was like, oh, you were right. You were right after we went and saw Endgame. And I was like... I didn't know it was going to happen. I thought maybe they would have they would have went a different route. It was just a theory, but now it just feels good as a fan of the comics and the MCU that they actually brought that to uh dang stupid fire. They brought that to reality in on the big screen. So it was cool, but with seeing Captain America get back up after that, let's talk about that epic shot after he got back up. Anyways, let me keep going. I don't want to talk your heads off. Oh my god. When I first saw that scene when Thanos came back from 2014, again, spoiler alert. <laughs> I'm not going to say spoiler alert anymore because this whole video is a spoiler essentially. But basically, um, this is the Black Order and a bunch of other different armies. I think the Centauri, um, I forget who else it is. I don't know if the Kree's helping him, but I know he has a bunch of, like, resources, and then the heroes come back, and when I first saw this scene, I was like, oh my gosh, are the Avengers about to lose again, or is somebody going, like, it was, it was epic. <laughs> This is amazing. This is the best part of the movie to me. <laughs> I can do this all day, baby. I can do this all day. <laughs> Oh, I know. <laughs> On your
when I saw Black Panther come back, it was like because I had a I have a friend, um, and he he was so mad because in Infinity War, uh, Black Panther died. But I knew Black Panther was gonna come back. Come on, he just came out with a movie. It was huge. But they had to kill off the character so they could focus on ending the story of the original Avengers and closing some plot holes, loose ends, and stuff. Um, so it was good writing, I think. And he just saw it as like I don't know if he saw it as being racist that they killed another black person off because they do that in movies all the time. But obviously, Black Panther, they weren't just gonna kill him off completely after a billion dollar movie. That just doesn't happen. And plus. It doesn't make sense for them to kill a superhero, you know, that quickly that you just got introduced to. It doesn't make any sense. So, I mean, it was a good movie, though. I mean, it was a great movie, Infinity War. He said he didn't like it just because of that, I think. Um, but anyways, I thought it was crazy. part like I thought Ant-Man died when I first saw that scene where they blew up the Avengers compound I thought that Ant-Man died he was supposed to die okay I, I just I didn't see him living from that blast you know he's just a regular human being but maybe he I don't know I don't know Now with Hulk, a lot of people are upset about Professor Hulk not really having an action role in the movie. But I do think for his character arc, it was good not to have him punching things. It was good to have him as a more relatable character. So I'm glad they did Hulk the way they did it. That's an epic shot. That is, like, the thing about it, they had all the heroes in one shot, boy. That is, that's tough. They had all the heroes in one shot, and you see Hulk running. That's cool. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny, I've seen this, I've seen the movie in theaters two times, seen it on Bootleg on a, a, a website where you can f watch free movies, already I saw it that third time, and now I'm watching it on YouTube as a clip, reacting to it for my audience a fourth time, and it this, the, the scene still shocks me, 
it still has that shock, that end battle. I don't know why. It's just the way it's done. It's something you've never seen before. It's so spectacular. Seeing Rescue and Iron Man together in one shot, it just like it gave you everything you wanted as a Marvel fan. There's no, there's like everything you ever wanted is here. No, oh, this is too much, man. It's too emotional. Making me too emotional. But, uh, honestly, man, it, it was a great movie. If you have not seen it, I recommend you going to see it, even if you're watching these spoiler videos. I think that this is one of those movies where even if it's spoiled for you, it's so good that you can still enjoy it. And you'll want to still go watch it again, even if it's ruined for you. This is one of those movies. It's just a... It's a historical event. It's a it's a impressive feat in cinematic history and probably won't happen again for a long time. So I recommend being part of history and helping them kill Avatar. Anyways, thanks so much for watching and peace.